Hi everyone, and you are welcome to this lecture, Copy in Python. In this lecture, we are going to learn about a very important concept, which is copy. So we will learn about the shallow copy, the deep copy. Also, we will learn how to discriminate between the shallow copy and the deep copy using identity operator. And finally, I will end up this lecture by a quick summary. So let's get started. First, let's start talking about shallow copy. To understand the idea better, first I will start by an example. Assume we have the following list, list 1 equal to 2, 3, 15, 20, and list 2 equal to list 1. In this case, you could think that list 2 is a standalone variable, having a value equal to the values available in list 1. In this case, Python will not create a standalone variable, however, Python will create a new reference. As you see here, list2 and list1 point to the same values in the memory. In other words, if I change the values using list1 variable name, the values that the variable list2 points to will change also, and vice versa. And this is known as shallow copy, which means when I assign one variable to another, I'm not creating a new standalone variable. However, I am creating a reference to the same values in the memory. I'm sure right now that the question that rises in your mind, how can I create a variable equal to another variable, but is not a shallow copy of the other variable? To answer this question, deep copy come to the scene. To create a deep copy, let me show you how we can do that. First of all, let me assume that I have list 1, which is equal to 2, 3, 15, 20. If I just say list 2 equal to list 1, I am creating a shallow copy. However, in order to create a deep copy, you have to import a module, its name copy, as you see here. And from this module, there is a function, its name deep copy, and this function will help me to create a deep copy from the variable. To understand the idea better, let me show you this graph. As you see here now, I have list2 equal to list1. Beyond the scene, list2 points to these values and list1 points to these values. And you can see now that these values are in two different locations in the memory. In other words, if I change the values that list2 points to, list1 will not be affected and vice versa. And this is known as deep copy. Now let's move to PyCharm IDE to see some code examples to understand the idea well. The first example that I want to share with you is the following. As you might have list 1 equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, list 2 equal to list 1. The first thing I'm doing is to print the values of list 1 and list 2. Then I will update the value of list 2 by changing the item in the first location by the value 100. And then I will print list 1 and list 2 after that again. If I run, and let's see here. These are the values before updating, and as you see, they are totally equal. And also, after I change only list 2, both list 1 and list 2 have been changed. And this happened because list 2 is a shallow copy of list 1. Let me show you one more example. As you might have a dictionary, it's named cardict1. It has the keys brand, model, and year, and the following values. Then I will assign cardict1 to cardict2. After that, I will print the values of both dictionaries. Then I will update the value of card dictionary1. And after that, I will print the values again. If I run, you will see here that these are the two dictionary that I have, and they are equal. And also after I just updated card dictionary1, also the values of these two dictionaries are equal. And look here, both years have been updated. And also this happens because card dictionary1 is a shallow copy of card dictionary2 and vice versa. Now let's see how we can create a deep copy of the dictionary. In order to do that, first of all, you have to import copy. And then here, instead of using just equal assignment, I will say copy dot deep copy. Let's see what will happen now. If I run, as you see here, before any update, both dictionaries are equal to each other. However, after the update here, if you note here, I am updating the card dictionary one year by the value 1970. You will see that card dictionary 1 has been updated. However, card dictionary 2 has not been updated. And this happened because now card dictionary 2 is a deep copy of card dictionary 1 and vice versa, which means they don't point to the same location in the memory and changing one will not affect the other. You have to know that, that the concept of shallow copy and deep copy is applicable only for the data structure that allow you to update the content. In other words, for mutable data structures. Now let's talk about identity operator. 
Sometimes, when you have a big program, you could be confused between two variables, and you are not sure if one is a shallow copy or a deep copy of another. In order to solve this issue, in Python we have what we call identity operator, which usually is used to compare between two variables, not if they are equal, but if they refer to the same objects in the same memory location. So in other words, I'm using this operator to discriminate between shallow copy and deep copy. Usually this operator takes two operands, and this operands type could be any Python object, or in other words, any mutable Python object, and the final result of this operator is boolean, true or false. True, if one variable is a shallow copy of the another, false if one variable is a deep copy of the other. Now also let's move to PyCharm IDE to see an example about this identity operator. We have seen this example before, and if you remember, we create a deep copy using copy module and deep copy function. Now let's check the behavior of is operator. I will say print car dect1 is car dect2 and run. As you see here now, I got false. False because now car dect1 is a deep copy of car dect2. Let me change this and make now car dect2 a shallow copy of car dect1 and then I will run. As you see here, the value now becomes true. So it's a very simple operator and it helps you to discriminate between shallow copy and deep copy. And that's all for this code session. Now let's summarize what we have learned in this lecture. First of all, we have talked about shallow copy and we see in this case that we are creating a reference to the same variable in the memory. Whereas in deep copy, we are creating a new variable having the same value and it's a standalone variable with its own values. After that, we have talked about identity operator and we said that it's a useful operator in order to check if one variable is a shallow copy for another variable or not. This table summarizes the details of identity operator and as you see this operator take two operands and the operand data type could be any mutable data structure and the output is a boolean value, could be true or false. True, if one variable is a shallow copy of another, false vice versa. Now please refer to the file, copy in Python appendix, in which you will find all the functions and operators that have been discussed in this lecture have been summarized. Also please refer to the file, copy in Python challenges, in which you will find some challenges to practice what you have learned in this lecture. Thank you very much for your time, and if you are available, join me in the next lecture.